Hello, I'm Yanis, and today I will show you how to create universal Windows platform applications using Ionic 2. We will also deploy our UVP application to the Windows 10 emulator. If we want to target Windows platform, we need to have a few tools installed. We can install this um, when we are installing Visual Studio, or if we have a uh, Visual Studio already installed, we can modify the installation and uh, check these uh, tools. Okay, we can install uh, these tools by going to the Settings, App and Features, and we find uh, our installation of Visual Studio, and we click on Modify. This will launch the, the Visual Studio installer, and we can tick the, the necessary tools. Uh, we need to have uh, this ticked, uh, so Universal Windows App Development Tools, which will install the tools for uh, Windows 10 SDK, the SDK itself, and the emulators. Um, notice that uh, emulators uh, require the uh, Hyper-V to be installed. On the version home of Windows, you cannot use the Hyper-V, but on the professional version, it is there. Um, and also, we need to have this HTML JavaScript Apache Cordova installed. Okay, just click Next and install. We will use our existing Instagram-like application, which we built in the last blog post um, for screencast. You can clone it uh, here on the github.com slash yamzi slash instagram.git. Um, when you clone this uh, application, you need to also run the npm install, which will install the, all the necessary node packages. Um, when you have this installed, just navigate to the, this folder and run Ionic Platform at Windows. So we will add the Windows platform similar to the Ionic platform at Android or, or the Ionic platform at iOS. Okay, we will launch this. Once our Windows platform is added, we can open our uh, project in the uh, text editor. Um, by default, when we are adding Windows platform, it doesn't target the UVP platform, so the Windows 10 platform. We can change this in the config.xml uh, and we specify um, some preferences for the uh, Windows platform. So, platform name is Windows. Close this. And here we just add a preference with uh, name of Windows target version and the value is 10.0 okay once we uh, modify that we just uh, run ionic build windows this will create uh, the solution files for our uh, uvp app and uh, we can later open this in the visual studio okay once it's built we can open the Visual Studio. We click on the file, open, project and solution. And we navigate to the, our application, platforms. Here are all the platforms. We added the Windows one, the Windows. And here are the solution files. This is for Visual Studio 2012, 2013. We want to use this, this one. Okay, just click open. And by, uh, by default, there will be a few projects in our solution, uh, like Windows Phone and Windows 8.1, but we want to use the universal Windows. So we right-click on that and click on the Set a, a Startup Project. Okay. And the last step for us will be to launch this in the emulator. Uh, you can choose the emulator once you install them here by clicking on this arrow and selecting one uh, of the emulators and then launch uh, run the application just by clicking on it here is the emulator 
and just click on it and it should deploy our application to the emulator okay started we can see the start screen you can see our instagram like application on the windows platform uep platform and we can try the application we can try the likes it works normally and uh, also deleting of photo works normally that's it for this tutorial like you saw we uh, could target the ios android and uep platform with just one ionic 2 code base um, in the next tutorial we will take a look at uh, uh, adding the persistence for our photos using firebase